Hello, my name is Narendra Sumakadas, and welcome to Operations Management. Now you must be wondering, what exactly is Operations Management, and what am I going to learn during this course? Well, anytime you start a new course, you have some inkling of what the course might be about. For example, when I went into my first class in marketing management, uh, marketing is something that we've all been exposed to in the sense that we have all been marketed to at different times in our lives. And here is the impression of marketing that I had. That's when you put your hands in the other person's pocket and make sure they're empty by the time you're done. How about accounting? Well, that's when they give you enough training that you can pick up a telephone book and simply add up all the numbers at one end. How about finance? Well, that's easy. That's when you buy low and sell high. Now, of course, you don't do all of this with your own money, but first, you make a fantastic presentation, find yourself a whole bunch of investors, and take their money and go to Wall Street. So now what is operations about? Well, clearly operations management must be about production management, managing a factory setting, thinking about something in the manufacturing sector. And many of you are probably wondering, why am I even studying operations management? I don't plan a career in the manufacturing sector. I'm looking for a career in the service sector. And you're right. Most of you will probably end up in the service sector simply because the rate at which the service sector has been exploding over the last so many years and is continuing to grow. Most of the economy is in the service sector. But wait, is a manufacturing factory the only place where you come across production? Consider the last time I went to a bank. So I walked up to the teller and he said, what can I do for you? And I said, well, I'd like to cash a check. So he said, sign here. I signed here, showed him my ID, and he said, do you want 20s or 50s? And I took my money. And then I said, I'd like to get a mortgage. He said, for that, you would have to go over to that lady in the desk out there. So I went over to that lady and I got myself a mortgage. And after that, I asked the lady, well, now I have a checking account at your place and a mortgage. What other kinds of services do you provide? And she said, oh, we provide a whole bunch of financial products. Financial products? But I don't see, where's your factory? You know, go and talk to our manager sitting in the corner office over there, and she will give you a better idea of all the financial products. I went over to the corner office and I asked this manager, where's your factory? And she said, we don't have a factory. We don't need a factory. Now think about where else you see the term production. How about a film production? How about another kind of production? Well, let's say you're producing a magic show. Oh, here's another kind of production you might be familiar with. Think back to your high school play. Now, let's think about a more common kind of production environment that you're likely to encounter. And here you are sitting at your desk and your boss loads you up with a pile of work, but you are sharp. So you slice through that work and it's all finished. But your boss gives you more work and even more work and even more work. Now you can see that basically what you're doing is you're taking inputs and you're producing outputs. And to do this production, you're using transformation processes. You don't have a factory of any sort, but you have transformation processes. Now this transformation processes could involve something as simple as doodling on a piece of paper or you know, click the clack on a computer keyboard, but whatever you're doing, you're transforming inputs into outputs, and that is the kind of production you're likely to be, to be doing. Now, when we talk about operations and transformations, we said we take inputs and we transform them to produce outputs, and this happens in any organization. It doesn't have to be a for-profit organization, it could be a non-profit organization, it could be a governmental organization. Any organization exists to produce outputs, and you do that by taking inputs and transforming them. Now, when you think about a good operation, a well-managed operation, basically you're saying that you can produce more outputs using the same inputs. You can produce the same outputs using fewer inputs. It's like doing more with less. A term that we use is productivity, which is outputs divided by inputs, and productivity measures how many outputs can I produce for every unit of input 